Hi, it's Deborah. Welcome back to the Deborah Peters Show. Tonight's show is how to shift, change, and heal your money story. So we're going to be on here for about 30 minutes, and we're going to be kicking off with some tools and processes that you can use to shift, change, and heal your money story. So, you know, we all have a money story. Everybody gets programmed and uh, hey Lucian, hey Charlene, everybody gets programmed about money from the time they're, I think in the womb, you know, whatever our parents are experiencing and um, whatever belief systems, maybe it's environmental, it's a culture, um, hi Mark, um, probably even gender, you know, we're taught certain beliefs about money. I just got off the phone with a client and um, we were talking about how our beliefs get programmed into us around everything. And of course, money being one of them. And she was saying, yeah, you know, we, we never really uh, struggled and we always uh, had whatever we needed. But I can remember my parents talking about how hard it was to come by money. And honestly, you guys, me too. Hey, Maya, I went through the same thing. I grew up on a farm and money was always this thing, you know, even when we had it, um, my parents thought we didn't have it. So it was interesting as I was preparing for this and I've developed a course on how to shift, change and heal your money story that I teach to all of our business owners. Cause you know, I'm a business accelerator and I help companies scale. And I've been doing this for 20 years all over the planet. Uh, 16 countries. And so it really doesn't seem to make a difference what language is being spoken in the room, you know, whether they're Irish or Norwegian or Middle Eastern or Asian or Canadian or American, you know, I've been through them all. And um, hey, Ralph, so the concept of, of money is just this massively hot topic. You know, sometimes when you ask someone about money, they get defensive, you know, um, they don't want to talk about it or they think that you're after their money. So they say that there's two fears basically. And one fear is, um, you know, not having enough money. Right. And the second fear is once you have a lot of money, how do you keep it? So I want to share tonight with you some of the tools that I teach. And I've cultivated and learned these tools in a few very pivotal ways in my life. So first of all, it comes from a very keen desire and a curiosity to really understand how this works. Because I grew up in what I consider to be poverty. And it wasn't just monetarily, it was emotionally too. So um, I really wanted to overcome that. And then as I became a coach and a speaker and started working around the world, I realized that I could learn from some of my high net worth and ultra high net worth clients because they seem to have mastered the flow of money. So this is, uh, this program is like 20 years in the making. I've been developing it and honing it um, over the last 20 years and with the shift that we've experienced in consciousness in the way people think, the way you think, the way you view the world, the way the world functions, thanks to technology and, and, and a whole lot of other things that have taken place in terms of those changes, our relationship to money is shifting dramatically. Now, I'm not going to be able to go through um, the, you know, every tool that I have, obviously, because I'm going to cap this at 30 minutes. Hey, Jorge, nice to see you and Edward. Um, so at 607 Pacific time, I'm going to cap this at the 630 mark. So just to give you in terms of an expectation, we have 23 minutes together. But what I am going to do is I'm going to give you a link because tomorrow evening, I'm going to run a closed complimentary webinar where I'll be able to actually give you some really in-depth tools to be able to start to shift immediately 
the amount of money that flows to you. So I'm just going to put in the link, um, a link here in the comment section. Hey, Jason. Um, so you guys can jump on that link and you can register for the webinar. I think we'll probably roll it out on Zoom so that um, I can make it interactive and you can ask any questions that you want to have. It's going to run at the same time. It's going to run from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. So we'll have a full hour together. So you might want to kind of start thinking about some of the things you'd like to find out about your relationship to money. And then you can bring that to the table tomorrow evening and I'll actually share uh, some of those tools with you. And I'll give you some answers that you can use immediately on the fly. Okay, so, so yeah, so I know it's like this is super cool because at the end of the day, there's basically two burning questions that probably every person on the planet has. You know, when am I going to find the love of my life? And when am I going to be wealthy? You know, those are the two burning questions that I think is on everyone's mind pretty much all of their life. So interestingly enough, love and money, hi, Renee, love and money have the exact same vibration. And I'll get into that tomorrow night. But I just want you to consider that. So in, if, if your life is um, not gaining traction on the money, and, and, and then you might want to look at, you know, where do you have love in your life? Um, that is really empowering love, not, not a, a love that is a crutch that keeps you from avoiding your greatness. Cause a lot of people have that kind of love. And we'll talk about that tomorrow night too. Cause that's part of it. You see, it's, it's, um, the relationship that we have with love and the idea of love and what that means to us. And then the relationship that we have with money is very, very similar. So I'll be covering that off in tomorrow night's free webinar. And for those of you that just jumped on, I'm going to share that link with you again. So um, go ahead and grab that link. I guess I, I, I might want to just like have you go ahead and jump in there now. Get yourself a seat because when we do it on Zoom, I'm going to have a limited number of seats for this webinar. I typically use another software, which is um, Webinar Jam, but tomorrow night I'm not. I'm going to be using the Zoom. And my Zoom, my Zoom uh, seats are, are limited. So you're going to want to get registered for that. Okay, so let's just do a dive in for now. I want to get into um, what I'm going to cover here. And I want to tell you that coming up after tomorrow night's webinar, I'm running a nine session class, like it's nine modules on what tools you need to be able to shift your money story. So I'll be able to give that to you tomorrow night as well. So just kind of think that through, you know, when, you know, you have those tools, we're rolling into the last third of the year. And this is when you really want to hit it out of the park, right? You want to nail down the sales, you want to nail down the numbers, and you want to actually finish this year hitting your mark and above, <clears throat> pardon me, like you said you wanted to at the beginning of the year. I see it all the time. We get into the last part of the year and then people are struggling with, oh my gosh, we're way off mark, our numbers aren't there, our team's not performing, we haven't hit the growth margins we wanted to, you know, all of these things start popping up and then you have the holidays to contend with. So look, it's the middle of September, this is the time to get it sorted, it's like right now. So let's just do a dive. We've got about um, 20 minutes, 19 minutes, and I want to get into some, some of the modules and some of the things that I'm going to be covering, and then I'll go into it a little more deeply tomorrow evening. So um, first things first, and that is the idea that money is energy, right? I don't know if you're aware of that or not, but money is definitely an energy. Now, there's a saying that is kind of my pet peeve, but there's a saying that um, everything happens for a reason. So I'm going to just kind of back up and start to give you some neuroscience around how to start to run your mind more effectively. So yeah, everything does happen for a reason. It's the reason that you give it. Okay? So everything happens for a reason because you give whatever it is that's happening 
meaning. And money is the same thing. Money is a part of that. So money has the meaning that you give it. So when you look at your belief systems around money, what kind of meaning are you giving money in your life? Because that's the first thing you want to look at to determine what's actually keeping you from having it or what's stressing you out about not being able to keep what you do have. Because therein lies right there you know therein lies the the root cause to what's going on and if you don't have enough money then you've got some limiting beliefs around money i had a conversation recently with a woman she has a nonprofit, and she's always raising money for her nonprofit growth and sometimes the money she's going after is very significant it's six seven figures so I suggested that rather than um, structure her business model, perhaps the first step we needed to do was to actually just clean up her money story. Hey, Patricia, um, nice to have you join us. So when I suggested that to her, she became very defensive. So straight away, you know, when someone's defensive around the topic of money, especially, then you know that they actually do have some blocks. Hey, Kiko. Hi, Saul. Um, so let's get into what some of those blocks might be. So as money as an energy, what is it about money that you look at differently that really is the block that's keeping it from coming to you? So when you're wanting to attract more money, have more money, um, hey, Michael and Ted, the first thing is you have to realize that it's about receiving. It's always about receiving, you guys. Whenever someone has a money block or not enough money or they can't seem to get the money that they need, then it's always about receiving. So what I do when I'm working with clients is I look at the patterns. Um, so when you've had money, where are you at within yourself and the relationship that you have with yourself and the um, conversations that you have in your head, right? Hey, Tim. Hey, Sheldon. Nice to see you. Um, and then when you have those conversations in your head, and you're actually attracting money and creating money, then what is it that comes along that causes you to shift out of that conversation into a conversation that causes a lack of money? Because, you know, as we said earlier, um, money is just energy. And conversations in your mind are energy. They produce energy. Because when you have a conversation with yourself, the quality of the conversation determines how you feel and how you feel determines your vibration. And your vibration is like a beacon. It's like an antenna and it goes out to the entire universe and it attracts to you your results. And that's just really the bottom line. You know, I put this post on Facebook yesterday and I, I got a little bit of traction on it from people. Um, asking questions and I said you know we're so free that we can choose bondage and it's true we are so free that we can choose poverty we are so free that we can choose wealth and prosperity we are so free that we can choose um, illness and disease we are so free that we can choose aging and um, and as deprecation and we are so free that we can choose you know endless youth and happiness and joy this is the where the rubber meets the road is to actually have an acceptance that what are you choosing right so i'm going to drop in the link again for um tomorrow night's webinar because i'll I'll do a whole training on this and we'll have a whole hour together. Tonight I just wanted to bring you together and, and introduce these concepts and get you kind of thinking and then you can register for tomorrow night's webinar and you can bring your friends and you can bring your spouse because you know what most couples argue over the most is money, right? I used to do couples coaching for 10 years, oh my gosh. It was always the issue on the table. 
um, it's never about the toothpaste. It's always about the money. So, okay. So let's get back <laughs> to, um, actual money. What's the root? What's the conversation in your head? Cause the conversation that you have in your head, like filthy rich, um, money's bad. Um, you know, people that have a lot of money have come by it dishonestly. Um, oh my gosh, that's too expensive. This is the worst, okay, when you say, I can't afford it. When you say, I can't afford it, it's just like you put up a wall and then boom. Hey, Jose. Um, you put up a wall and, and you the money can't get in. So um, if you can imagine that you're sending out a thought process, which is an emotional program eventually. Um, and then that's turning into a vibration. So you basically, you're basically transmitting a vibration. And so on the top of the head, we have like the hypothalamus, it's in the brain syndicate, and it actually sends an antenna that connects into the quantum field, the universal field, the energetic field, which is malleable. And it's malleable with our thoughts and with our vibration, we can shift and change it into any and morph it into anything we want. You know, you can stand in front of a mirror and criticize yourself and you can, you can tell yourself how fat you are and starve yourself and still be fat. Or you can stand in front of a mirror and say how ugly you are or how old you are and you actually start to become that thing because we're putting that out. And so then the cells are eavesdropping and they're taking on the energy of whatever it is that you're putting out right so when you say i can't afford it what happens is, is you you put the brakes on the energy of money coming toward you now if you go to my youtube channel i have um an energy pull on there and i would suggest that i'm going to grab you the link i would suggest that you guys start using this energy pull on a daily basis and I'm not sure if you lost me or not because I, I switched over to um, to grabbing my channel link. But um, I'll be right back. So I'm sure you can still hear me. So um, here it is. You can go to my YouTube channel. This is a free tool. You guys, I've spent my whole life learning this stuff. And I don't even know how much money I've spent going to trainings and teachers and you know, there was a point in time, hey, Paul, when I was traveling around the world following this one particular neuroscience teacher to different countries and taking every course that he offered, just absorbing everything that he had developed so I could then teach it to people. So I've invested my life in it. Like, it's no joke. You know, while everybody was getting married and having babies and buying houses and cars, I was studying personal development neuroscience and I love it. So I'm not complaining, uh, but I just want you to understand that I've invested my life, my heart, my soul, everything about me is, I mean, this is it for me to be of service to you and to help you live a life that you love and that you appreciate and that really brings you happiness. So, um, Grab my YouTube channel. Hey, Carrie Ann, nice to see you. I haven't chatted with you in a long time. And go to the energy pull on my YouTube channel. Go to the, actually go to the meditation first. Do that every day. And by the way, in that meditation, there's like five different tools that I've created for you. Just play with it until you get comfortable and then pick one or two of those tools and create your own meditation. Like you don't have to do the whole meditation every single time. But after you kind of get familiar with it, you'll pick out one or two or maybe three tools in that meditation and you can turn them into your own. So do the meditation and then do the energy pull and then stop saying I can't afford it because when you're pulling energy toward you and you're asking the universe to provide and to give and to feed you, hey, Mary Elizabeth, um, yeah, homework, Kigo, you got it. Um, what ends up happening then, if you say, I, if you ask the universe to bring you $10,000, 
and then you go to a store or out with a friend and you're looking at the menu and you're complaining about the prices on the menu and you go, I can't afford it. Then the energy pull you just did gets like canceled out. You know, it just gets cut off. And so there's basically four steps that you need to take. One is organizing your mind. Make that the number one priority that you do every morning. Organize your mind. And then you can stop throughout the day and you can re um, um, you can reacquaint yourself with that organization. You can remind yourself. Sometimes if I get stuck, I get up and go outside for a walk. Because when I get out in nature and I feel the air on my skin and the sun in my face, I don't care how hot it is out here in Southern California, I go anyway, dead noon, right? Just to get a change of environment to shift my vibration back into creation mode. Because this is money is all about creation. Okay, so we're down to six minutes left and I want to, to deliver some really major tools to you. Um, so the next thing would be, so asking, right? Making a demand and you're making a demand on the universe and you're also making a demand on yourself because you are capable of everything and anything. You know, it's just your programming says you can't be, do or have something. And that program doesn't belong to you. That program belongs to somebody else that taught it to you because it's all they knew. And if any of you grew up even remotely close to the way I did, you had parents that were broken. You know, somebody told them somewhere along the path in their life that they weren't good enough. And so that's how they parented. They parented with this concept that if they weren't good enough, then you weren't good enough, or the world wasn't good enough, or their life wasn't good enough, something wasn't good enough, right? So it really is about organizing your mind. You have to make a decision that you are going to only focus on your desired outcomes and all the rest is bullshit, because it is. And when you get to that point with yourself, and sometimes it takes a lot of failure and a lot of pain and a lot of suffering to finally get to that place with yourself where you're willing to stop beating yourself up with the lies and the bullshit that you were taught as a little kid because it doesn't belong to you anymore and it never did, right? So did you guys get registered for that webinar? Because you definitely want to get on that. If you want to scroll up here, I'm going to give it to you one more time because tomorrow night, six o'clock, baby, we're going to roll and I'm going to walk you through some of these tools. So get registered for that webinar and bring all your friends, okay? Because I'll tell you what else is going to happen. When you start making money the way you want to, your friendship base is going to change because the people that are used to you being broke, look, the people that are used to going and hanging out with you and complaining about how hard life is, that are used to saying how they can't afford things, that are used to struggling, and then they sit and talk about it with you over a beer or a big old glass of scotch, whatever the case is, then they're not going to want to hang out with you anymore because you're too happy. You're too happy. You're too positive. But eventually they'll come back around and they'll be like, I don't know what it is you're doing, but I want a slice of it. And then you can then you can tell them, look, I just learned to organize my mind. I made a decision to stop paying attention to the politics and stop hanging out online and to actually execute on my goals, no matter how hard it was, no matter how scary it was and get healthy because then that'll support your mindset. Right. Because that's energy, too. So three minutes to go and I want to leave you with this tool. So the number one tool to having the money you want to have is to learn to be money. That's it. It's to learn to be money. How do you learn to be money? That's probably what you're asking me. I'm going to share that with you tomorrow night. I promise. But here's the deal. I want to leave you with one other thing. It's also about being open to receiving. Oh my gosh. 
I've been going through that learning curve for the last little while. And let me tell you, it's amazing. So the more you learn to receive, see, here's the thing. We've been taught that in order to have money, we have to work hard and we have to sacrifice and we have to suffer. And that was true with the industrial age because that's how things were built. You just, you worked in the mines, you worked in the factories, you know, there was only a small snippet of the population that were the wealthy and hence why they, you know, were hated because they seemed to control the wealth. Well, I'll tell you what, they didn't really control the wealth. That was a symptom. What they really controlled was the mindset, the ability to organize their mind. And what comes before the ability to organize your mind is the knowledge to organize your mind because you can't organize your mind if you don't know that that concept exists. So that's what I really wanted to deliver to you in this show was that A, the caste system is dead. Doesn't matter what gender you are. Doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't matter what culture you are. It doesn't matter what where you come from. You can organize your mind and you can create and pull in all of the abundance, all of the wealth, all of the love, all of the experiences you want by learning how to organize your mind. When you organize your mind, you organize your emotions and then you organize your vibration and that attracts to you that which you desire. When you start getting into that space, which is takes discipline. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. Like this is not a one shot deal. Okay. What I'm talking to you about here, this is a lifestyle. This is a lifestyle. This is something that you will do for the rest of your life because the current neurological bandwidth you have is a pattern. So if you look at a circuit like breaker and you look at all the wires, that would be like a neurological pattern, right? So that whatever that's plugged in as only has the capacity to create what is plugged in as. And your neurology, your mindset, your neuroscience is exactly the same thing. So when you create new neural pathways, when you shift how those are plugged in, then you create a broader bandwidth for allowing, for receiving, for enjoying, for experiencing. And then you're gonna adjust to that. And once you adjust to that, you're gonna ask for more because we're human beings and we're constantly asking for more. We're programmed to ask for more. It's a hard wiring. It's a prime directive of the unconscious mind. So then what's gonna happen is you're gonna wanna reuse these tools because now you're gonna level up and you're gonna start challenging yourself again to think beyond your current belief system. Your life will be as big as your belief system allows and that's the long and the short of it. So it's up to you, it's up to you. You get to decide, you can decide now you can decide next week, you can decide next month, you can decide next decade. It's up to you. The question is, how long do you want to suffer? How long do you want to say I can't afford it? How long do you want to do without the joy, the happiness, the vibrant health, the love, the creativity? How long do you want to go without having those experiences? and beingness, because it's about who are you being? Remember earlier I said, are you willing to be money? So that's it, my friends. I could go on and on and on, but I promised you 30 minutes and I'm two minutes over. And um, does anybody have any questions that they want to share? Because I'm totally open to um, hanging back a little bit. Um, I'm going to give you that webinar address again. Please get over there. Also, I'm going to put in my email address, my personal email address, 
And if you have any questions, I have to see my keyboard. Um, if you have any questions, you feel free to email me. And if you have any trouble registering for tomorrow night's webinar, definitely email me. I love you guys. I do. I thank you for being here. I love life. I really do. I love getting up every day and creating. And you know what? I'm not perfect. Some days it's hard. Some days I'm just like, whoa, what have I taken on here? Because I'm up leveling. And it's amazing. I was walking down the street today and I was like, holy shit, what have I laid out there? Because I've asked really big. Like you guys, I have asked so freaking big. And um, it makes me tear up because it just, I think I blow my own circuits. <laughs> but anyway, I'd love to blow yours and I'd love to have you come and join me tomorrow night where I can really do a deep dive with this stuff. And then I'm going to roll out this nine week course. It starts in October. We're going to do nine modules. I'll tell you all about that tomorrow night. Um, we're going to start with being and receiving. We're going to get into questions like what, where have I refused to be the real source of change that eliminates the awareness of the limitation I have chosen? I'm going to show you how to ask questions that completely blow open your neurology and create space in the neurology so that you actually allow in more because you have to create space. You know, so most people are like holding on so tight, resisting change, freaking out. I can't control. And hey, I know what that's like. I'm like that too. I'm a control freak and I'm bossy. So, you know, I have a control freak, bossy kind of nature. And my biggest challenge is me because I've asked for such a big life that now getting out of my own way, I've, I, I have to discipline myself every day because I can find excuses not to do it. So um, yeah, tomorrow night, okay, six to seven, please join me, bring your friends, bring your colleagues, bring your enemies, they'll love you for it and, um, and we'll jump on. So before we go, let's just do really quickly a little repatterning, okay? So 10 times we're gonna say, all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. Because when we say all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory, that already creates space in our bandwidth to receive. And when you do that, you can receive easier and then you can receive more with less effort. Okay, so you ready? So you gotta say it out loud, everybody. So here we go. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, with joy, and with glory. Okay, guys, I will see you tomorrow night. Thank you so much. And here is that link again. Get registered for my webinar. Bring all your pals and let's rock it. Let's change the world. Let's be who we want to be and let the others follow us. And then you won't have to look on Facebook and see all these people saying that they're doing all this seven, eight figure money thing and that you know, you're a loser because you don't sign up for their program. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. I'll tell you, I, okay, I'm on my soapbox now. I'm gonna finish up with this. So billions of dollars have been made in the coaching industry telling people that there's something wrong with them and all they have to do is buy their $10,000 program and then they'll be just fine. And it's all smoke and mirrors. And I'm not gonna say who the big guns are in this industry. There's a couple of them and they've been on stage for over a decade and they're selling you, selling you, selling you, selling you $3,000, $10,000, $20,000 and they never give you the full enchilada. I don't operate that way. That's not my business model. Because I want you to thrive 
and then I want to move on to the next creative project. I get bored teaching the same stuff over and over and over because I'm always getting downloads of new material. I want to teach new material. So that's it, guys. Love you. Catch you tomorrow night. All right, take care. All of life comes from your thieves, joy, and glory. Bye.